All right, it's vlog time again because I'm going to Paris. <laughs> I just booked my Uber, it's three minutes away. Why do I always do this every time? I like to make my life difficult. Bag packed. I'm going, I think it's like four nights. I don't even know. I think it's four nights. Three nights in Paris and then two nights in Provence, which is in the south of France, because it turns out that <gasps> Alicia, my best friend, was in Paris and France when I was. She's going to Nice, and so I'm meeting her there. Anyway, it's a whole thing. I'm going to Paris to shoot some really cool content for Geek Bomb and solo Star Wars. So in this little bag there, I've got a solo costume and big ideas. So this should be fun. Oh, look at this. I know, I know I'm going, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love you. I love you, I love, Zelda. I love you. I miss you already. Do you miss me? Oh. I'm walking down the streets of Paris. I've just landed. I managed to check into my hotel, had a bath, had a face mask, feeling right as rain, had a coffee, a cafe, cafe. Probably a slow. And this, I forgot about it until I landed here. Uh, and that is, I should never have seen Taken. Taken, the movie with Liam Neeson, is the single worst thing that a woman traveling alone to Paris can watch. In fact, I'm sure it's damaged tourism because every car that drives past me, every man in a weird ass trench coat, you, you'll see in a second. Make sure you're looking at this background of my footage. I feel like they're the ones that are gonna, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna take me, they're gonna capture me as a sex slave, and they're gonna hook me up to uh, heroin where I'm gonna waste away. And I don't have a way of as a dad. So what I'm trying to say is I don't know if I can completely enjoy Paris the way that I should. Thanks. Bonjour Paris, Paris, bon. bonjour. I'm an Australian living in America trying to visit Paris. That's where I'm at. As far as languages go, I'm like the Jonah Hill meme. First attempt to explore Paris. So, Maud, you suck at life. Um, I left the hotel with 27% battery thinking that'd be great while walking around the streets looking at maps listening to music. That went down to 8% real fast. And so I had to make a choice. Uh, keep exploring. And I was like, yeah, that sounds amazing. If I get lost, I'll just order an Uber and I'll get back. Oh, wait. I can't do that with a dead phone. Uh, realized just how reliant we are on technology and had poked my head around a few corners, went into a shop, panicked, went home, went back, went back to the hotel, which is where I am right now. Turns out I am starving. It's like five something right now. And, oh, jet lag has just hit me like a beast with a mission. Um, the last meal that I ate was breakfast. <sighs> this bed is good. Maud, Neil, jet lag, one. My attempt last night to go out and get a wine was um, another failure by Maud. Can travel by herself. I feel like Paris can be a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde, especially in the area that I'm at. During the day, everyone's like, bonjour, you know, chat, chat, chat. But at night time, it's when guys just are so blatantly just leering. Like you walk past a guy and he's just like, and then we'll say something like, Magnificent, Magnifique, like something. And I'm like, shut up. I don't know, all these other things. I can't understand it, that's the problem. They'll yell out something and I'll be like, I have no idea. You may be saying, you have beautiful shoes. You may not. I'm not sure, because I don't speak any of the language, which is really kind of making it a little bit tough. So I'm wandering around and it's a bit of a tourist destination. I walk past Moulin Rouge uh, and you, usually with tourist destinations at night, it gets a little bit leery. Um, I thought I found a really cool jazz bar, uh, and I had my book. Where's my book? I brought my book so I could do some reading for Alpha, Alpha Book Club while I was out, and I was like, in my head, cute little quaint wine bar. I sat at the bar, no one else was at the bar, um, and I was like, can I order a wine? He's like, yes, this is a bar. I was like, oh, thanks, cool. I'm reading my book, thinking I'm a legend, trying to escape into my own little world, um, into the world of Hogwarts, really. And I feel like the manager looked over and was like, hmm, 
like I had a book out and like laughed with the, the bar guy and then cranked up this hip hop music like circa 10 years ago. So some Nelly and some Sierra and like really, really loudly and all the weight stuff were like joking going <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. Long story short, it just wasn't smooth and it wasn't fun um, and it didn't go to plan at all. So I ended up just walking home and reading in bed which is not what you want to do at all. Uh, today though, a different story. Woke up, thought I lost my camera. No more, it was just in bed. You took it to bed. Well done. Um, but when exploring a uh, fully charged phone, so learning from my mistakes, I do make mistakes, but I try not to make them twice. So went out with a fully charged phone and a good attitude. I just kind of like walking and getting lost. There's beautiful architecture here, which is what I'm a big fan of. Um, and I found my top three words that I'm adapting and adopting. Bonjour, hello, and then uh, merci, merci beaucoup, which is thank you and thank you very much. That's basically what I say when I enter a store and when I leave a store. And then my favorite uh, and walking through the streets is pardon and pardon moi. Um, I didn't wear glasses when I was out and it was very sunny so I started having a sneezing fit and I had a beautiful French moment where I was like, hachu, hachu, pardon moi. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I still have no idea what anyone's saying. Um, and there's, yeah, a huge language barrier. The French people don't really like speaking English and I suck at French. I need to get better, apart from my killer three. <laughs> um, maybe a bit of bonsoir, could chuck that in at night. Um, I know café, un café, un croissant, which is one, one café, one like latte and one uh, croissant. And that's basically all I need to survive here. It's not long before I start the actual reason why I'm here. I mean, I haven't even been in Paris for 24 hours. I've been trying to make the most of it. Um, but tonight I've got an event. I think I'm checking out the Paris YouTube space, which is really cool. And then the following day for three hours, I get a hold of that YouTube space, which is basically like rebuilt sets and parts of the Millennium Falcon. Kill. Now that I've got my camera, <laughs> I'll um, get back to it. As in, I will be filming stuff. I had two coffees though, so I can pretty much take over the world right now. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. So I'm giving a fresco dining a red hot go. I can't understand most of the menu. The gentleman working here had to explain it all to me in English, which, you know, it's what we've got to do. We've got to adjust. Um, I'm going for a pasta dish. Uh, I think a pesto burrata, which sounds amazing, but I've already got food envy for every other pasta dish on here. Apparently the pasta is made differently here. Um, in America, it's, like an FDA regulation to have preservatives and things that's going to make the pasta stay fresh or you know not off for longer uh, and that's because of the law so they passed that law this is what someone else told me they passed that war uh, law sorry during the war and they never went back on it so a lot of the um, French and Italian pasta places will have a factory for making it fresh and the right way another one for to fit the American FDA standard where they just jack it full of preservatives and shit that's really bad for your body. So I'm gonna try and eat pasta here and see if I fall into a coma. Bonsoir my legends, I'm heading to the YouTube space to check out the Millennium Falcon build that I'm gonna be working on yesterday. So, yay. Elevated by myself, that was gonna be awkward because literally I'm vlogging. Ooh, angles mod. <laughs> So. Hey, look, anyway, I'm distracted with mirrors. That's not a good sign ever. Um, YouTube space in Paris is going to be amazing. They've literally rebuilt sets, which I get to work on tomorrow. I'm going to show you around first, though. My May the 4th is literally going to be consumed by Star Wars in the best ways ever. I'm a lucky gal. This is the YouTube center in Paris. These are all the other influencers. They are the international influencers, which means they don't speak English. Italian, 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 Italian. Italian, Italian. And I'm all up here being like, g'day mate, and they're like, grazie, Gra grazie, I'm, I'm butchering this, aren't I? It's so great. They could be talking shit about me and I don't even know. Anyway, shit talking aside, I've got little tickets here. Now these two tickets, what? There's another one. You know what, someone really should be holding this for me, but I'm just trying, I'm a woman who wants to do it all, you know? I'm trying to do it, what? So that gets me into a screening of Solo and they're doing a little featurette and apparently there's something in here that no one in the world has seen before yet, obviously, except internally, duh. but like the public has not seen before, which is kind of cool. We've got to walk this yellow carpet, get a photo with Chewie, which would be sick. 
uh, and then we're going to check out the Millennium Falcon. And so that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you what that's all about, and then I'll be back here tomorrow to shoot in it for Geek Bomb. Yay! So my boots. Yellow carpet. Cool backpack. Distracted by Geek. I like your bag. And now it's weird. It's a party and I have to socialize. There's like only me and there's like a bunch of people that I don't know. I spend a god. Let's just take a photo of me. <laughs> I'm dying. I need two drinks stat. So I tried to order some wine in French and I, I thanks Oli, Oli Mawson, but I, um, I f***ed up. This is how I socialize at a party. I'm talking to you guys. Give me your best. That's awful. Hey. That's how I dance. It's my only move. I'm nailing this party so far. I'm in the corner eating burgers. It's fine. But Maud, you seem so confident. What happened? Great question. Not, not, not able to understand most people. Um. I'm the only one here. This is the real solo story <laughs> unfolding. Maud, don't talk with your mouth full. Hello, buddy. He said hello in English. Hello, friend. Are you filming yourself eating? I'm filming, I'm filming the real solo story. And it's me in a corner at a party, alright? 